Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to give a brief tutorial explaining how to install the plugin so that you can use G2Box with the Uniformation GK1. Alright, let's get to it. So this is the Google Drive folder that has all the information provided with the GK1 when you purchase it. If you don't have this information or if you lost it, you can find it in the links down below. For this process, we're going to go up to this middle folder that says Uniformation and G2Box. Open that. In this folder, you'll find four files. There's the installer for the latest version of G2Box. There's a manual explaining how to install these files in G2Box. There's a configuration file so that G2Box knows what the GK1 is and what its parameters are. Lastly, there's this extension file that will open up a plugin in G2Box, allowing it to export files in the format that the GK1 reads. So here's where I ran into an issue. I tried to download all of these files together just to try to save time, and normally that's fine, but what happens is Google will zip these files to make them smaller and download faster, and that process is actually really detrimental to this file here. Because what will happen is it will zip this file and then when you unzip it, it breaks down the file into three separate subfiles, all of which G2Box can't read, so it all needs to stay in that one file. And the only way to do that from Google Drive is to simply open up this file, right click on it on its own, and download it. This will keep it as one file so that you can simply drag it and drop it into G2Box. All right, so I've got a fresh install of G2Box. First thing I'm gonna do is go to settings, then import profile, navigate to where I have the configuration file for the GK1, click on it and hit open. Now you can see I have a profile that's specific to the GK1 with all of its parameters. The next thing I would recommend doing is just closing out of G2Box and restarting it. For whatever reason, it sometimes glitches and I can't import the next file until I've restarted it. So once you've closed and restarted G2Box, just navigate to where you have that plugin file and simply click and drag. This will copy over the plugin needed to export files in the JSX format. And you're done. You should now be able to slice files and save them in a format that the GK1 can read. Just make sure that when you're saving the file, you're saving it in the correct format. If you look on the list here, it'll be the one that says .m underscore JST, not the one that just has JST. And that's it. You can now save the file and get it over to your printer. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support the channel, you can find my Patreon link down below. Alright, let's go print something. <laughs> 